Hi, everybody, and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week, no matter which sport you are betting on. So, we are doing some Major League Baseball again. And first, you want to uh, become a member. You can access this VIP club section. It's excellent for all different types of tools to help you make your predictions and your betting. So, as we head to the final quarter of the Major League Baseball season, the races are really heating up. And this weekend has some excellent matchups featuring top teams in the divisions and in the league uh, facing off against each other. So let's go down through here and let's get started as to making some of the predictions for this week. So I'm going to scroll down through here. So the first matchup we want to look at is the Cleveland Indians and the New York Yankees. Here it's the top two teams in the American League facing off. The Yankees first in the AL East, the Indians first in the AL Central. And if we take a look here, uh, the Indians are burning hot right now. They have won five out of their last six games. The Yankees are average up. They are coming off of a two-game losing streak against the uh, Blue Jays of all teams, and then they've won their last three. So they are average up. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that Cleveland actually has a slight 27 to 25 edge over the Yankees. So we're going to go down through here to look at some of the other things. Here, we've got the tallest predictor. If you want to consider the over-under, well, let's take a look. You see here the red line for the games the Indians are playing. They are, they are trending well under in their games, and the Yankees are trending slightly over. So you might want to go, normally if, if uh, there's a trend on both sides of the line, you want to avoid the over-under. But considering that the, the uh, Indians are trending well under, you might want to edge in that direction. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How well are the teams performing uh, according to their uh, favored underdog stats? We see both teams are really very stable. The Yankees are among the most stable teams in the league at plus 37. So take the over under, excuse me, take the favorite underdog status uh, very seriously when betting in this game. So now we want to look at the pitcher profit oscillator. You see this right here. So we're going to go to the pitcher profit oscillator. And all you really do here is go to up to the top here where it says tools. See here it says bonus tools and you go here to where it says oscillator. So when you do that, the pitcher profit oscillator comes up and you can put the two teams in here. You see you have the Indians and the Yankees and you can put the pitching matchups in. So I'm putting in Saturday's matchup, Zach Plesak versus James Paxton. If you look here, you can see the uh, pitcher profit margin here. You can see that Plesak is a much more profitable pitcher at plus 683 and Paxton is at minus 177. So a difference of plus 870, or excuse me, plus 860 in favor of Plesak. So this is a really good tool to, to, to see which pitchers are performing the best according to uh, profit and uh, no profit. So go back here to the VIP uh, picks. Now I'm going to scroll back down to the game. Scroll back down here, Cleveland and New York Yankees. So what I'm looking at here is a very, very interesting matchup. Both teams playing playing quite well, give the edge to the Yankees playing at home to win the series two games to one. Scroll down through here. Now we got the San Diego Padres and Philadelphia Phillies. Now both teams are not playing very well at the moment. Both teams are fourth in fourth place in their respective division. The Padres are average at the moment, and they have uh, won three out of their last six, but they have lost their last two. The Phillies are ice cold down. They have lost five out of their last six and seven out of their last ten, so they are really in a downward spiral. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see this downward spiral. The Phillies are dropped way down to plus 9, and the Padres are at plus 10. Tolls predictor, considering the over-under, well, let's take a look. You see the Padres are playing in games trending over. The Phillies are trending under. So, again, this one would be good to avoid the over-under in this series. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How well are they performing according to their favorite underdog status? The Phillies are very stable at plus 25. Padres are not very stable at plus 4. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, I will just read down through here what this is. Again, you can go to the tool as I showed before and put the pitchers in, and you will see all these numbers I'm going to be telling you right here. So if you look at this, uh, Jason Vargas is the best bet for the Phillies on Sunday at plus 1,831. He's facing Joey Uchezi, which is a bad bet for the Padres at minus 933. So in the end, I, I think the Phillies have a slight edge at home, and they should take two out of three in this series to get themselves back on track. 
go down through here to another matchup here. We want to take a look at let's scroll way down. Here we go. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the Atlanta Braves, the top two teams in the National League. The Dodgers right now are burning hot. I mean, won five out of their last six. The Braves are average up. They have won four out of their last six and two and two over their last four. Here with the power rankings indicator, you will see. The Dodgers are going up and they have the edge at plus 28 compared to plus 20 for the Braves. Totals predictor, if you're considering betting the over-under, well, let's see. The Dodgers are playing in games well under. The Braves are playing in the games pretty well over. So they pretty much cancel each other out. I would avoid betting the over-under dog in the games in this series. Let's take it the volatility oscillator. Let's see. How they are performing according to their favorite underdog status. You see, both of them are very stable. The Dodgers extremely so at plus 38, and the Braves at plus 29. If we take a look at the pitchers again for this series, you will see here that uh, Clayton Kershaw, Yun Jin Ru they are very, very good bets. They are combined over a plus 2,000, the pitcher profit oscillator. Max Fried is a very good bet for the Braves on Sunday at plus 1,062, but he's facing off against Kershaw, so that should be a, an excellent battle. The best bet for the Braves uh, this weekend is Mike Soraka on Friday, plus 654, against Kenta Maida, minus 1,654. The Dodgers have the better team, even though the Braves are very good as well, but the Dodgers are really, really strong. I predict them to win the series two games to one. Scroll down through here. We've got a couple more matchups to take a look at real quickly. Uh, going out west here, San Francisco Giants at Arizona Diamondbacks. Here we have two teams that are battling to stay in the wild card race in the National League. The Giants are ice cold up. They have won three out of their last six, and their last two against the Phillies. The Diamondbacks are averaged down. You see that they have lost two out of their last three. They are winners of four out of their last six, but the, the two games out of the last three loss gives them the average down status. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see. Arizona has a slight edge, not much difference here, plus 14 to plus 12. Take a look here at the totals predictor. Most people like to try to bet the over-under, see if, if that is wise in games for this series. You see that San Francisco is playing in games well under. Arizona is trending in games over. So probably best to avoid the over-under in games in this series as well. Volatility, how well are the teams performing according to their favorite underdog stats? Well, you see neither one of these teams are extremely stable. They're both on the plus side, but not very high. So take it with a grain of salt, their favorite underdog status. If you look at the pitching matchups for this series, Jeff Samarja is the absolute worst bet on Friday. One of the worst in the league at minus 3,761. So avoid betting for the Giants in that game. But... Um, the Giants have the edge in the other two games. Both Connor Menez and Sean Anderson are profitable, better than Merrill Kelly and Jack Gallon for the Diamondbacks. So let's look for the Giants to take two out of three on the road in this series. And one more matchup, AL West, Houston Astros versus the Oakland Athletics. So we got first and second place teams here. Houston is burning hot down. They have won five out of their last six. You can see they put a 23 spot up against Baltimore just a few days ago. And they have a couple of other games here with more than, than 10 runs. So they are really hitting the ball. Uh, Atlanta is average, and they have won three out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see Houston very close to the top here at plus 29. Oakland's at plus 21. Toes predictor, over under. Well, you see here that Houston is trending in games over, which is not surprising because of the run output so far. But look at this. Oakland is trending in games well under, minus four. So you might want to bet the under because they are trending farther under than the Astros games are trending over. So go for the under in this series. Volatility wise, you will see that Houston is among the very most stable teams in the league at plus 39. So really take their favorite underdog status very seriously in betting games for this series. Finally, if we take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, like I always like to do, Zach Greinke is at plus 2,682, and Jared Cole at plus 1,050 profit for Houston. They're excellent bets in this series. None of the three scheduled stars for Oakland are 
uh, really doing well as far as the pitcher profit oscillator goes. Tanner Rourke is the only one in the positive, and he's only at plus 21. Houston is clearly the better team. They will win this series two games to one and increase their lead in the division. So I want to make sure you understand here about one thing that we have here that you should take a look at. Make sure you look at the app here. So you want to download our app here. We have the newest app. As you can see, it's the newest Z code iPhone app, the iPhone and iPad. The app is similar to our classic line reversals app. However, it will now let you access a whole bunch of different things. You see the VIP wall quicker with just one button. Scroll down through here, you will see how it's going to look. You see the screenshots of the actual app as you will see as you download it. Um, so right here is the link. Download the link right here. So make sure you take a look at that. And if you're not already a member, please join so you can access all the great things like I did here, the VIP club section to help you make your predictions and help you win big and win big every single time. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come back next week and happy betting for this weekend.